welcome to the Smart Women of Business podcast. We've got big ideas for small business. Hi, today I want to talk to you about how to write a killer about page. So imagine your dream client has just landed on your website. They like what they see and they want to know more about you. Curious, they head to your about page. Does your about page inspire your dream client? Does it compel them to want to work with you? Or is it a boring few hundred words cut and paste from your CV? Did you know that your about page can make or break a sale? People aren't just buying products. They're buying an experience, an interaction, a human touch. People don't buy from brands. People buy from people. People buy from you. Your about page is about so much more than just your qualifications, your history and your hobby. It's about you, your story, your brand and your why. Your about page is the equivalent of a cup of tea and a chat with your customers, a chance to get to know you and why you're here doing what you do every day. Have a look around at the people you admire and engage with online. How do their about pages read? you'll notice that the really good ones tell a story, a personal, relatable story that evokes emotions in the reader. Happiness, empathy, sadness, excitement, motivation, inspiration. A good about page draws your customers in and should leave them feeling like they know you or at least part of you and that they want to get to know you better. It's like The website equivalent of speed dating. You have 30 seconds to engage your customer and be memorable. And I'm not talking about being different for the sake of being different, but there are considerations that will transform your about page from mundane to mesmerizing. So as with all things marketing, your about page should be targeted at your target audience. And I know I harp on about target audiences all the time, but seriously, every single thing you do comes back to your dream client. When you're writing your about page, your ideal audience should feel that they, you are talking to them personally as if you were there face-to-face, explaining your story to them just as you would at a networking event um, or some other face-to-face meeting. So three simple questions to ask yourself before you sit down and write your engaging killer about page. So how do you want your audience to feel when they're reading your about page? Um, Intrigued is pretty much number one for me, wanting to know more. Comforted, confident. You know, think about the barriers that people have cited about um, people that they've used before in your industry um, and, and what turned them off the contract that they were using before or the consultant and what made them come to you. A lot of people come to me because they have, Um, had a poor experience with a marketing consultant or a website designer and they had a look at my website and felt confident that I could help them and solve their problems. So what action do you then want them to take? Um, And make sure that's clear on your about page. Subscribe, contact, um, pick up the phone. So what can you change for your customers? More time, less overwhelm, more money, less mental clutter. Um, more bananas, fewer apples. Just think about the the transformation that you deliver. So here's a really quick guide on how to reel your customers in, hook, line and sinker. So the hook, what's your big opener? So this is your big chance at capturing your audience's attention with a big, bold, memorable statement or a question to pique your reader's interest. Your opener should leave no doubt in your reader's mind that they have found someone they want to connect with. So um, things like, are you ready to step into greatness and live your truth? I am here to help you achieve your dreams today. I'm here to set you free. Freedom's a big one, um, especially in a lot of the business side of things. More time, more money, more freedom to do the things you love doing. Um, Another one is, what would you do if you had more time? See, time's another metric that is really powerful. Uh, The line. So we've had the hook, have a think about it, workshop it. The line. Here's your opportunity to distill your genius into one line. So declare it. 
how you solve your one big problem for your audience. And you've been through the Dream Client Workbook, so you have interrogated your dream client in your mind and on paper, not in real life, um, their big fears, frustrations, um, their dreams, their aspirations. So we're all in the business of providing solutions for our clients and so focus on the solution that you deliver in your own unique way. So for me, it's I create digital brand, eng <laughs> I create engaging digital brands without the tech overwhelm. So tech overwhelm is a big thing for my clients that they find, um, especially obviously in the digital space that I work in, tech, they just, it, it's scary and it's big and they're over it and it's just not something they want to deal with. So I take that off their hands and that I, I relieve them of that tech overwhelm. But at the same time, I deliver them an engaging digital brand. So that's the solution I deliver. So you can say, I'm Jane and I help small business um, build a website they can be proud of without technical dramas. So website shame is a big thing that um, my clients come to me. You know, I've had my website since, you know, 2014, 2015. It's really outdated. Can you update it for me? I'm, I don't even want to hand out my business cards anymore. So that's something. Pride is another thing that I can deal with. So I'm Jane and I am passionate about helping working mums find balance in their lives so they can spend more time with their kids without worrying about their business. So time and, and, and the outcome that that delivers to my clients is important to them. So more time with your kids. That's why so many of us work at home mums do what we do so we have that freedom to spend more time with our kids. So a simple formula is you help your target audience achieve X goal without their number one pain point that we talked about last week. So keep it simple and stick with one problem and your unique solution. Think about the number one thing you do to deliver a solution to your client. So um, this is often called an elevator pitch and then just distill it to the simplest and least cluttered form and then you'll have your one line um, connection message. It's that message where you really establish that connection and deliver that engagement to your client and they feel that you understand them, you have empathy um, for their problem or their pain point um, and that you are the person who has the solution for them and you understand their pain. So this can take a few goes and a bit of workshopping. So you can come over to the Smart Women Business Facebook group and discuss it if you like. Um, and the final part is the sinker. So this is the chance to show how you got to where you are today. What were the pivotal moments in your journey? What was your revelation, your turning point, your aha moment? Um, a lot of the gurus at the moment talking about how they had to hit rock bottom and they had $10 in their bank account. You don't need to do that. You just talk about your journey as to how you came to get to the solution that you deliver for your clients and why, what happened in your life that helps you deliver your unique solution? What problems did you see in your clients where you went, this is, the, this is where my solution is unique and this is what I deliver to my clients and this is why it's important? Because we all do different things in different ways and that's why we all have different clients and we all have different ways of going about what we do. I can build a website like the next person, but it's the way I do it. It's the how I do things that sets me apart. So tell your story in a personal way. You can really go deeply personal if you want and think about the writing that you love to read and the about pages that you have engaged with. And in reality, for many of us, our target audiences are a reflection of us, although I always say your target audience isn't you. They are often a reflection on us and what we love and what we love to do and why we're in business. So bring more of that love into your about page. So remember, be authentic always. Your customers are here for you and you alone. In saying that, unless you're in a team, um, you can introduce yourself as individuals and have your own little quirky individual about paragraphs. You can talk about, um, if you have a company, you can talk about your about page as your overall holistic view uh, or your mission um, and how you do things differently in your company. And then you can introduce the individual team members. Because remember that your clients are coming to your website, they're seeing your about page, they're wanting to know more. The reason they're reading their about, your about page is they want to know the why of the organisation or the individual. 
So this is your chance to not just say, we deliver innovative solutions. You say, this is why we do it. We do this because we saw that our customers were frustrated with tech but still wanted engaging digital brand and we needed to find a solution in the middle of that. So have a think about your uniqueness, and what you do and how you deliver it. So write it in the first person, not the third person. Sounds icky and weird. Um, just as it feels icky and weird to write about ourselves in the third person. So it, I've, I've tried it different ways with different organisations I've written with and, yeah, write it in the first person. It makes it more powerful. Um, so make it strong, make it powerful, make it meaningful. Um, and if you want to thresh it out, as I said, hit me up on my Facebook page or come to the Smart Women in Business Facebook group unless you're a guy, sorry. And um, don't forget to subscribe because there's more goodness coming next week. Oh, and you can download your About Page worksheet in a link underneath or at the bottom, wherever you're at. Thanks for listening to the Smart Women of Business podcast. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe. I'm your host, Jane Mackay. To find out more about me, go to www.smartwomenofbusiness.com www.jmackaycommunications.com.au